was about to say you can read a really good German. I can, and I just translated it for you. Welcome to Berlin. We've been here for about a week now, pretty much just locked ourselves in our hotel room and worked. Yep. But we've got our coffees. We do, and we are heading off around the city. We're staying in a really good location in Potsdamer Platz. It's quite a central location. Berlin is a massive city. It's very sprawled out, and we're in one of the local, well, the central areas. So pretty much walking distance to all the sites we're going to see today. Yeah, we're going to head to. I think we're going to head to the Brandenburg Gate first. So on our way to the Brandenburg Gate and the Reichstag building, we are walking through the beautiful Tiergarten Park here. It's Berlin's largest outdoor park. A lot of people come here to have picnics, ride their bikes, seen a lot of people on scooters as well. It's a really nice break from Berlin's concrete jungle to be out walking through this huge park where you can pretty much not see any buildings around you. And it, all the trees even block out the city sound, so it's really nice to have that reprieve. Yeah, that the break. Hustle and bustle. So lush. It's actually a really good thoroughfare to get from one end of the city to the other. Just leaving the Tiergarten and we were planning to go to the Holocaust Memorial a little bit later after the Brandenburg Gate, um, but we didn't realise it was so close and on the way, so we might actually check it out now. Do you want to check it out now? Yeah, let's go. We're just going to jump across the road and Van Life's getting a ticket. <laughs> Between 1941 and 1945, the German Nazi regime and its collaborators murdered over 6 million Jewish people from all over occupied Europe. The Holocaust Memorial is Germany's main memorial to this unimaginable genocide. Among all the taller pillars here, it does cause a slight sense of disorientation. It kind of feels like you're in a maze. It's really quiet in here as well. Yeah. Considering we're right in the center of Berlin, yes. once you come into the middle here, the concrete pillars really block out the sound. It's quite somber. Also in the same area is the Brandenburg Gate, which dates back to the 18th century and used to be one of the main gates leading into Berlin. After the collapse of the Berlin Wall in 1989, this became a symbol of unity and peace between East and West Germany. We are at the Reichstag building here, just next to the Brandenburg Gate, so it's home of the German parliament. There was a massive fire here in the 1930s and they rebuilt it. And it's been home to the yeah, German parliament since 1999. Awesome, isn't it? Massive. And the three words on the top of the building there translates to the German people. Christy's second language is German. She's pretty good. <laughs> uh, maybe about 5%. A lot better than mine and as always there's construction out the front i think every city we go to that's the rolling theme oh another thing about the reichstag building here is there is a dome on top of it and you can actually book tours to go up top for panoramic views of berlin i'll see if i can get it it's supposed to be one of the best places to see a 360 degree view of berlin there's this and then there's the TV tower which you can pretty much it's over see. That, up, that way. It's over that way. You can generally see from any part of Berlin but we can't see it right now. 
I love Berlin. Berlin is probably the next city that I would live in. I love it. I've been here three times. Steve's been here twice. There's, there is something about Germany that uh, makes us feel very at home. Yeah. The people are love it. super friendly as well. Yeah. And Berlin is such a big international city of just a, a big melting pot of different cultures, influences, fusions, and it's just great. A lot of it was unfortunately demolished, flattened um, during World War II. So a lot of the city has been rebuilt. It is quite modern, but you do have the older style buildings as well yeah. in contrast. So it's, um, yeah, it's a super cool city. I think we've done and seen everything that we want to see over in this part of Berlin, over on the west side. And we're going to head over to the east side of Berlin now and check out the east side gallery. So we've come over to the east side of Berlin and it has got such a different feel already to the west side of Berlin. It's a lot more grungier, a little bit more edgy. It's kind of got like Richmond, Fitzroy vibes of Melbourne. So the East Side Gallery is just behind me and we're going to go check it out. The Berlin Wall was used to separate East Germany, which was controlled by the Soviets, and West Germany, the US and its allies. It only came down in November of 89, really recent, really incredible to think that it happened in our lifetime. The East Side Gallery is the longest remaining part of the former dividing wall between East and West Berlin. Today, the 1.3 km wall stands as a memorial to freedom and is covered in murals completed by artists from all over the world. It is also the world's largest open-air gallery. had a really good day exploring East and West Berlin. And make sure you're watching the next vlog because we're going to be taking you around the city and trying some of Berlin's popular street food. And beer. Yes, and beer. <laughs> Bye.